Welcome to Lecture Online and now we're going to do an example on permutations and combinations. In this particular case though, we're going to try and figure out which of the two we're actually trying to find. Remember, permutations, the order matters. Combinations, the order does not matter. And usually there's way more permutations than there are combinations. So here's an example where we have how many ways can eight objects occupy five spaces? Now which, what are they asking for? Are they asking for permutations or are they asking for combinations? Sometimes a keyword will help you. When they say how many ways, that means they usually look for permutations. We're looking for the number of permutations, which means we have eight objects. Let's say we have eight numbers, one through eight, and then we have five spaces, one, two, three, four, five. So to see what the difference is between permutations and combinations, let me put down the first five numbers. One, two, three, four, five. Now, if I then write it down like this, one, two, three, five, Four, when it comes to combinations, there's no difference here. This is one and the same. But when it comes to permutations, there is a difference because we interchange the four and the five. For combinations, we say, well, we have numbers one through five, and it doesn't matter how you arrange them, it's all the same thing. So you can imagine when you start shuffling things around with the same five numbers, you can come up with a lot of different permutations, and then you replace the five with a six, and then do it all over again, so the number will be very high when it comes to permutations, not so high for combinations. Remember the equation for permutations is as follows, that the number of permutations, so starting with n quantities or n objects and k spaces, so this will be equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 all the way down to n minus k plus 1. So in our example, since there's 8 objects and 5 spaces, n is 8, k is 5, so this would be 8 minus 5 plus 1, that would be 3 plus 1, which is equal to 4. So we go down from 8 down to 4, multiplying the numbers together, which means that the number of permutations with 8 objects and 5 spaces is equal to 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 and times 4, all the way down to this quantity right there. Now we have to multiply these together. So 5 times 4 is 20, times 6 is 120, times 7 would be 840, so now we end up with 8 times 840. 8 times 8 is 64, that's 6400, plus 8 times 4 is 32 with a 0, that's 320. So this ends up be 6720 different permutations. That's a huge number. Just with eight numbers and five spaces, you can rearrange them in 6720 different ways. If it were to come to combinations, the number would be much, much smaller. Matter of fact, why don't we do that? What would it be if we just wanted to know the number of combinations? Well, there the equation is as follows. The number of combinations, if we have n uh, numbers and we have k spaces, this is equal to n factorial divided by n minus k quantity factorial times k factorial. In the case where n is 8 and k is 5, let's see what we get. So this is equal to 8 factorial divided by, let's just write out, 8 minus 5 factorial times 5 factorial. Now, again, simplifying this some more, this would be equal to 8 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 5 factorial. Now remember that factorial means, for example, and I'll just write it out here, 8 factorial would simply be 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Divide the whole thing by 3 times 2 times 1 and multiply that times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Usually what we do is we realize that 5 factorial will cancel out with the bottom 5 numbers of 8 factorial, which only would leave 8, 7, and 6, which is indeed what happens when you simplify. Cancel these out, so you end up with 8, 7, 6 in the numerator, 3, 2, 1 in the denominator. Then notice this 6 cancels out with this 6, and you're left with 56. So if the order doesn't matter, realize then that you only have 56 combinations. If the order does matter, you have 6,720 permutations. And that's how you know the difference between permutations and combinations. And that's how we do it.